Dr. Robert Stein here, Body Mechanics Series. I've been looking forward to this exercise from the beginning. 95% of you guys and women do this one wrong. Great for my shoulder business. Great for the orthopedic shoulder business. Great for my low back business. Great for my elbow business. I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. You guys are going to go, oh man, I've been doing it wrong the whole time. That's why my shoulder hurts. That's why my neck hurts. Let's do it right. If you do it right, you won't get shoulder injuries when you're older. That's why you don't see many people bench pressing when they're older because they've been doing it wrong for years and years and years. Do it the right way and you'll get a good result. So what happens is with the bench press, you have to put your feet up on the bench press. If you're laying back on the bench press and your feet are down, you're automatically arching your back. You automatically arch your back, you're automatically recruiting with your low back discs. If you automatically do that, you change the angle of your body and your shoulders drop. If you automatically have your elbows drop, then you're automatically blasting with your back muscles, especially your rotator, your teres, your te your teres muscle and your rotator, and your posterior delt. The initial blast off is the most important thing with this type of bench press. The right mechanic on the, on the chest is if you keep your elbows up, the furthest you can go back, that's as far as an elbow can go back on a person. And what happens is when the elbow and the shoulder is right lined up here, the initial blast comes from your chest. From here to here is chest. And you can't go any further back. So if you, only, if you keep your elbows up while you do this exercise, you can't cheat. But what people try and do is they try and get more range of motion to drop the bar all the way to the chest. If the bar is hitting your chest, you're automatically doing it wrong. You're blasting with your rotator cuff. You're blasting with your uh, posterior delt. You are shutting them off. You're using weight for your chest and putting on your little rotator cuff and your little posterior delt, and they're going to shut right down. And then what happens is you start using your shoulder to cheat. And what happens is you start developing shoulder pain and shoulder problems. So let me show you how to do this right. Very, very specific. And what will happen is you're going to shorten the range of motion while you do this exercise. First scene on the body mechanic series to do it right. First, what you have to do is make sure your feet are up here. I go a little wide with my legs to keep me in balance. Make sure my back is flat. Can't recruit with my back. When you grab the bar, no thumb. Find the right angle for you to make sure you have a 90 degree elbow angle. Tighten your stomach while you do the exercise. Bring it up. Balance yourself. Only come down to here. See where my elbow angle is? And then straight up. Nice and straight. Under control. Pure chest. No back. No shoulders. Keeping everything tight. Nice and smooth. Just like that. This is how you do a perfect chest bench press. Looks a little wimpy. I know what you're saying. Looks a little wimpy, but you'll get a big chest, strong chest, won't hurt the shoulder, won't hurt the elbow, won't shut off your rotator cuffs, won't shut off your triceps, and you won't hurt your body. Also, make sure you have that 90 degree angle when you're doing it. If you come in too close, you're blasting off your triceps, you'll shut your triceps down, it's going to hurt your shoulder even worse. Do this exercise right so you don't have to see the orthopedic surgeon for shoulder, shoulder surgery or see me for shoulder, neck, mid-back problems. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Dr. Robert Stein, Body Mechanic out.